Russian business elites want to bring Shoigu to power, Defense Minister has his own ambitions. The Russian publication Verstka writes that part of the Russian elite is in favor of ending the war in Ukraine. To which extent are the voices of the so-called doves heard within the Russian establishment today? The Charter 97 website spoke about this with political expert, head of the Ukrainian Center for Military Legal Studies, Alexander Musienko. Everything is natural. If you look at the statistics, the data is quite disappointing for Gazprom, Rosneft and other Russian companies. They are losing billions in revenue due to harsh sanctions. Sanctions are hitting the Russian economy. Nobody wants to get involved in long-term projects or investments. Chinese and Turkish banks are introducing a ban on settlements with Russian counterparties. Alexander Musienko said, It is also important to note that these statements coincide with drone strikes on facilities such as the gas terminal in Ust Luga and other factories and enterprises that, as a rule, belong to a private company. However, we understand that they are also connected with the state because in Russia it doesn't work any other way. Obviously, the strikes do not suit the owners of these companies who are losing huge amounts of money. Experts added, there are individuals, representatives of the business elite who are ready to enlist the support of the security forces. In this case, I think the security forces are not from the FSB, but from the opposite side, Sergei Shoigu. Try to bring Shoigu to power so that he can negotiate with Europe and the West and withdraw troops from Ukraine. Let him try to normalize relations as much as possible. I would like to remind you that it was Shoigu, while at a defense forum in China, who said that Russia is ready, under certain conditions, for negotiations. This is an interesting point. Let me add that he also flashes on the screen all the time. The media only hears Shoigu, Putin. Sometimes Peskov will say something, but this is not serious. I see that Shoigu is now consolidating power. He has his own ambitions. Alexander Musienko said, 